Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today we continue the Frostbite series into day 27, and that means tomorrow is Horde Night. So for today, instead of going out and doing exciting activities and raiding and looting, we're going to basically stay at home and be a homebody and get this base ready to go. I would like to... Whoa, what the hell happened there? Oh, jeez. i surprised that hadn't happened until just now. Um, let's see here. I want to get all of the... Ooh, what's this? It's a freaking ammo pile here. Did I miss something? Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm surprised no one left a comment about that. All right, lucky goggles on. <laughs> okay. I'll just grab those and grab those. So what we need to do probably is get these dug out a little bit because I want to start putting traps in and I also I kind of like show you what the the plan of the day is the POD if you will so I want to well I got the vault hatches crafting they're they're going in the workbench right now whoop couple of zombies out here oh there's a loot bag too from one of the ones I killed last night but anyway I want to push these this like protrusion here into the sides of the wall I want to build out, see where that lantern is there? I'm gonna build out some scaffolding and then I'm gonna put a spotlight up on top. And what else are we gonna do? We're gonna continue the idea that I had to make like a walkway that, that lines up with this and goes all the way back. We got so many things to do and we have not a lot of time to do it in. So I'm going to head upstairs and we'll start our day by crafting. Oh, and by the way, I think this is what I was doing last night. It's been a few days since I recorded, so I <laughs> sometimes I forget where I left off. But anyway, I think this is all new to you guys. So this is all, you know, shaped properly, supported properly. It needs to kind of be upgraded a little bit. I'm going to leave the garden there for a little bit. I, I'm still contemplating the whole, like, point into living off the land thing. Because from your comments, y'all said that you need at least three points. Now, mathematically, that's not true, but, you know, practically, it, it might be more true. So, it's hard to say whether I should put the point into that or not. So I'm just going to put some of this stuff away momentarily. We'll grab it back out in a little bit. See, I had all the um, switches and stuff in the inventory, the supercharger mod. I'm all ready to go. Aha, yes, I almost forgot. I should be putting this mag extender mod onto the SMG. There we go. Okay, get that reloaded and see how many bullets it holds now. 42. Nice. I'm also kind of thinking maybe I should put the laser sight onto it because it helps with the hip fire accuracy. And then instead I'll put the silencer onto the desert vulture. I think I like that idea better. Okay, so in terms of food, I just want to get some food cooking here because I know I have a couple new recipes. We've got the shepherd's pie now, so we'll look for some lamb rations and some peas. I think we have plenty of corn, animal fat, and potato. Okay, we'll work on that. Uh, pasta, beef ration. We can do the sham chowder here, and we can do the hobo stew. So I'll get the ingredients ready, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, I did not have any, like, canned pasta, so I don't think I can make the spaghetti. Okay, let's see here. Sham chowder, it's my favorite. That gives you the most hit points back. Also gives you a fortitude plus one, interestingly. So I'll grab two of those. I think probably next up would be the one shepherd spy because I only have that one lamb ration. And then we'll get the hobo stew. Ooh, five of those. Oh, only limited by boiled water though. So maybe we'll get the boiled water next. Just a little bit of that, please. And I'll also probably need to make murky water as well. How are we looking in the forge? We need to probably get the lead and the brass out of it and get the bullet casings and bullet tips crafted. So I can get, uh, I can only get two spotlights for now. Ideally, I want four today. Uh oh, we've got a zombie somewhere. Where are you guys? Oh, I need, gotta get that loot bag too. I can hear him beating on something. Aha! Oh, we got a bunch of corn out here. I forgot all about that stuff. Who's over here? Aha, Marlene, you clumsy bitch. I'm just wasting the steel arrows at this point. Okay, there we go. Uh, yes, should I perhaps like wait until I maybe take a point into living off the land before I harvest these? I probably should. I do have that one skill point, but I'm still just so undecided on whether I need to farm or not. I mean, I have so much food. I really could just survive off of boiled meat and be perfectly happy about it, but uh, more, the more I think about it, the more I think that having the, um, 
max stamina bonus and the healing from it all is, is probably really beneficial. Okay, the big hold up here now is the campfire. I probably should just craft another one, but I'm too lazy. Oh, and I just got prompted that I was thirsty there, and then I realized I didn't have any of my mods installed. So the mods that we're rolling with is the inventory lock slot mod, and we're also rolling with the new HUD. This is called the AGF HUD+. Plus. Made a couple modifications myself, namely to take the numbers off of the hotbar, because I don't need those. But yeah, I just activated those real quick. I, I turn those off, I deactivate them when I'm recording other types of content, like tutorials and, and like minute tips and things like that. I just... It's more of a distraction in those cases. Just gonna get some 9mm crafted, get some glue made up, and continue with the cooking. We're gonna get the, uh, let's see, we can do five hobo stews, and that's gonna use basically all of the corn, which is fine with me, I suppose, because otherwise all we would be able to make would be that meat stew, and, I, and the hobo stew is better than meat stew. So yeah, I think that'll do it. We can put all the food away. All right, and with that, everything seems like it's good to go. We'll grab up the vault hatches, we'll grab up the spotlights, and let's get to work out here at the front. All right, first things first, just, just get that upgraded. Just get those in. Get that one in here, and we'll work on getting the other one in eventually. I'm not gonna upgrade that one. That's just more to keep me from falling off the back end than anything. All right, well, I think we'll start out front. Now that we have the auger, I'm, I'm not a, f oh crap, I gotta get a repair kit. Heavy fog is rolling in, and zombies are rolling up. Let me down here. Oop, soldier. Oh, jeez. What is this, like a whole horde, or just a the downtown spitting out a whole bunch of zombies at me? Oh, Karen, why are you doing this to me? Oh, there you go. Oh, I, I, I'm getting horde vibes from this little group of zombies here. Hey, I aimed down the sights for once. Aren't you proud of me? Oh, boy. Oh, ow. <laughs> I ruined my moment of glory. All right, so what I'm going to do first, I uh, are we good out here? I mean, it's probably someday I'm going to knock this out. This is becoming, uh, you know, like a lot of zombies can pile up here. It's kind of more of a liability. I want to, I think I want to just get up on the top here and start working from up here. I want to knock these out. And then I want to knock a couple of these side blocks out so that I can flush up this platform. Oh boy. What is this? Five more zombies? Where the hell did you guys come from? Oh, uh, that reminds me. What I need to do is knock out this block here. Nice. So that I can then replace it with the security gate. Like so, and then upgrade it. Nice, now we got a nice little murder hole here. We can just murder these zombies. Perfect. And eventually what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to put a dart trap right about... Uh, here in the middle, although I can't do it because there's some kind of a block here in the way. Aha, just like that. So I'll put a dart trap there and I'll put it on a switch so that if a demo ever comes up here, we'll have a little bit of assistance to kind of like shoot it with a dart trap from above. But let's continue with the remodeling, shall we? All right, good deal. Man, it still takes forever. Even with the auger, it is frustrating to have to do that all the time. But eventually we'll get like a quality five or six and we'll be good to go after that. Just want to grab a, I think a wedge 60 will probably fit in here pretty well. Yep, just like, oh yes, it does perfectly flush actually. Nice. Just do two like that, two like that, and then we'll just get like a regular block here. Put it down in there so there's no weird little gap. Oh, we've got a uh, freaking lumberjack. Ah, oh, crap. Missed my opportunity for a sneak attack. Oh, that was a headshot. Damn, man. Eat that. Oh, man. He's tough, isn't he? Oh, again with the stupid... Oh, jeez. There we go. Yeah, again with, like, the poor hitboxes on the lumberjacks. It's pretty bad. I'm gonna go down there and get my bolts, because these are steel bolts. A little bit more valuable than the iron bolts. 
And I think I can make the jump here. He, oh, jeez. Okay, looking good. I'm just going to put a, a top gate on that. Eh, maybe temporarily until I make sure that that's what I want to put there. And then I'm going to just put some sort of a, a railing here on the end. Not sure what I want to put here, though. I think I, I don't want to put like an actual railing. I just want to put some kind of like a barrier here so it kind of like looks like a castle fortification. Ooh, the, the pole plate half. I've been using this on the on multiplayer playthroughs and I'm liking it. So you could do something like that and then also do the pole plate full like that. And that might give it kind of like a crenellation type of appearance. It does. Ooh, I like it. Nice. Yeah, I'm definitely have my heart. There's a little bit of an overlap there, but honestly, it, it looks kind of spiky and I like it. It doesn't like break the um, the immersion for me at all. So, you know, I could deal with that. I don't know that there's any other shape that would fit in there better, and I don't necessarily want to try and find it. Oh my god, with these downtown zombies. <laughs> Oh my god, there's just so many of them. They're everywhere. I'll just try and pick a couple of them off. Ah, I'm just wasting crossbow bolts at this point. They'll come and get me eventually. All right. Whoops. Ow. Yep. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to break my leg doing that stuff someday. Okay, let's get all this done up finally. We don't want this to fall apart. That would kind of like break the whole base. Who's coming over here? Oh, friggin' stripper zombie. Oh, she's a feral as well. Um, gun's not loaded. Get back. Get back. Whoa, that was close. Uh, I wish there was like a killing blow. Like if there was a zombie that was on the ground, you could just like run up with a knife. Like that would be one of the perks of having the knife is that you could do like a killing blow on a down zombie. Just like, you know, gladiator style. Just like stab him in the top of the, you know, the neck or something. Okay, the walkway is finally all done up. Ooh, got a skill point there. Nice. We will sit down and look at that at the end of the day. Maybe we could get another one. Probably not. I'm not planning on doing any significant upgrading today. Oh my god, he hit hard. Jeez, okay. We need to go get a drink of water anyway. And check up on the crafting. How are we looking here? Just a bunch of 9 mil. Good deal. Gonna need as much as we can get. We've got all the 7.62, but nothing really good to shoot it. We're gonna probably have to craft up the, the machine gun tomorrow. However, I'm not even sure if I got enough of the machine gun parts yet. We'll check on that while I'm just thinking about it. Oh yes, we have nine. We have plenty of machine gun parts. Uh, tons of brass just hanging out in here. I try to maybe get some of these bullet tips and bullet casings out yet again. Oh, those hobo stews are done. Very good. What I really need are like jars. Can I just like put the sand into this forge real quick so I can get some of those? All right, back to work downstairs. I think I'm gonna just really quickly put a hole in this wall. And this one. So that way these two sides communicate better. We can just go back and forth without too much hassle. I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna take up my ladders. We're gonna have to figure out some other system here because at this point I need to build up this uh, fighting position here the same as this one over here. That's gonna be three blocks like that. Three blocks like, whoa! Oh, my leg! Damn it! Ah, well, oh well. <laughs> Three blocks like that is what I was going to say. I'll get some steroids in a minute here. I just want to uh, get this kind of framed up a little bit. Then we'll take our favorite block here, the security gate plate, and put it like this. Yeah, and the question is like, how am I going to get up now? Uh, I don't have a clear answer for that right now. But just temporarily, I'm going to put a, just a simple ladder like, like this. Can I do this? Can I do this? Please, please, please let me do this. That, that will work right there, I think. Steroid. And then we can take these up. And I think, what do I need? I need one more layer of blocks here. And then it'll be the same thing going across to this side over here. Very nice. Now we just got to duplicate this fighting position over here. Upside down scaffolding plates in the middle. Catwalk V2 railing only singles in the middle bottom. 
also in the rear bottom, but unfortunately you have to upgrade these, these ones right here before you go any further. Preferably you get these to steal, but I'm not going to be doing that just yet because when I put these ones on the front like this, it's gonna cover them up and I won't be able to reach them anymore. See how it says pick up frames? It's not actually registering that I'm aiming in between those. If you want to avoid that, you can actually use the railing. The railing block, which is this one right here, railing. If you do this one, you can actually aim through. See, and I can upgrade through these railing pieces. It, I, it's the only block I've seen so far that allows you to do that. Everything else, it, it, you know, you'll basically shield off whatever's in the middle there. See, I'm even having a hard time like upgrading that block there. I have to actually remove a block to, to get access to it. So for this side, I, I've, this is my second time doing this. I did it wrong the first time, but I want it to be like so. And then same thing, but mirror image on that side. And then I get the regular ones that are not like the L shape and I advance to rotate them to be like, see, I don't want the, see the, the thick pillar part. I don't want them to overlap because then you get weird glitches. So you want to do it like that. It just gets kind of flickery the other way, especially when you paint it. There we go. Then for the front piece, you just want to do it so that they overlap evenly like so. Then switch to the other side, advanced rotate, same thing. Boom. All right, just upgrade these now and I'll put down some vault hatches. So we'll just put these on face like this. On the back side, we're going to need another row to put across like that. And then another vault hatch there. Good to go. Oh, big boy's over there. Stop hitting my fighting position. Stop that. Oh, it'll be nice when we get some automation here so we can not have to go downstairs every time a friggin' zombie wanders up here. No! I'll kill you where you stand. Oh boy. Where do they all even come from? This is ridiculous. All right, so that's uh, pretty much it for the front fighting position. I will have to replicate this same kind of platform back here, but I want to take a bit of a break at this point and start working on this system here. Now, I'll start things off back here. We'll get this repaired. I'm gonna carve through this and we've been talking about making these pillars kind of communicate ever since we moved in here and it's time to get that started. There we go. Very nice. So we'll be able to walk the length of the base just going through here. Uh, yep. Yeah. I have to knock some ladders out eventually, but I want to get some electric fences set up, but I need to clear out all the sand first. Okay, let's get the... Oh boy, it's nightfall. That means friggin' feral sent zombies are gonna be rolling up here any minute now. So I need to get these lined up so that the front... Uh, let's see here. How many... I have four of these. I want to hit the top two the middle i want a string going across the middle and a string going across the top and it has to be this the string has to be in this block plane here so i'm wondering if i could just do this here oh boy spider zombie and this here but up one but that block there is going to be in the way and also i think the ladder is going to be in the way but this one primarily oh boy well we're gonna be making noise, we're gonna be killing zombies, so might as well get to it. I really feel like the SMG is doing way more damage than the Desert Vulture, even though I'm only using regular ammo in it. All right, now, was it that block or is it this block? Okay, oh, there we go. Yes, that's the one we want. Now we just have to duplicate that on the other side. Oh man, it never ends. Pizza, get the hell out of here, man. There we go. Okay, we can put the receiving end of the electric fences over here. And I'll bring the... 
Is that a screamer? Uh, no, I just think it's the wind howling. I get, I get a little bit paranoid when I'm auguring. Though there are zombies kind of beating around everywhere trying to get to me. Hey, that's those all hooked up. I think they're relatively safe in there too. I think like even if a demo went off, I don't know that it would really affect them at all. So the reason I put the electric wires inside the position instead of outside is just just preference. Like um, I want this to be like the fail safe mechanism. Now, eventually I might put another set on the outside, but like if this position starts to fail, stuff blows up. I want the zombies to get stalled in here. So I, it just buys me time to like fall back. Like, I do realize it would work probably better if it was outside, but as a fail-safe mechanism, it's gonna work better here. Oh, all night. All night with these friggin' zombies. I don't have time for this. Leave me alone. Okay, while we have a moment here, just a moment, I'm going to try to get something set up here. Ooh, I think I can actually use that spike to get this set up. I want to make some kind of like a little bracket to hold the spotlights. What about this shape right here? Kind of like that. I realize it doesn't flush up very well with this one, but we can perhaps look to fix that later on. That looks good. See, I want to put the spotlight like right here so that it shines down, but it's not blocked by our little fighting crenellated platform, whatever you want to call that thing there. We'll think of a name for that later. Okay, there we go, and I'll just upgrade it to wood for a minute until I know for sure if it, it's gonna work or not. And then I've got two spotlights so far. That should work. I don't think, like, cops would be spitting in this direction. I don't think birds would ever knock this out. I think they're pretty safe up here. So I always wanted this spot here to be the spot for the generator, but there's something in the way. There we go, and right here is perfect. Ah, zombies. Oh, we got the new murder hole now. Yeah, this desert vulture's not doing the kind of damage that I thought it would. Anyway, I'll get some um, relays set up eventually, but for now, I, I do want it on a switch though. Don't I have some switches here? I do, but, uh, oh, um, ooh, I could put the switches way out there. Let's do that for now. Just kind of like testing to see if this is going to work. Okay, on and on. Ooh, nice. Yes, okay, let's point them down and see what it looks like from ground level. Maybe, see the arc is so big on these that it's hard to say. Let's go straight out from that little pyramid block right there out to the road line and see what that looks like on both sides. Okay. Yeah, it illuminates the 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 pole here right up until you get to here, which is nice because I'm gonna put another one up top over there, up on the security gates that we put up. We'll see what it looks like from ground level. Ooh, yes. That looks good, I like it. I don't know, maybe someday we'll put some lights like down here Shining up on the base. Oh, jeez. Arlene. Scared the crap out of me. Get out of here. Oh, boy. All kinds of company. Lovely. Free XP. I'll take it. All right. I think that's probably going to do it for today. I'm probably just going to putt around and get some little bits and pieces done before we pick things up again tomorrow morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. The nights are long and cold, but there's no rest for the weary because the dead never sleep. So we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today and good night. While you're waiting for the next video, check out the links below for more content, ways to support the channel, and ways to become a nerd of steel. You can catch me on the Discord, Twitter, at the weekly livestream, or in the comment section down below. Huge thank you to all of my supporters who helped grow and shape this channel. My name is Temreki, and I hope that I earned your subscription today. I'll see you next time.